Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. Hello and welcome. I am Michelle Kelly and you are watching me on either Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. And I started this, I started this as being the change. And what I'm realizing is I am the change. And, you know, I started in 2019 stating out loud that I was breaking up with fear. I was breaking up with shame and I was breaking up with guilt, followed by a weekly video for an entire year. I'm almost at four and a half years of doing this consistently. Um, I've had New Year's resolutions after that slash intentions after that. Um, and I've been able to follow them all through. However, it hasn't been an easy process and everything that I've tried to do has taken way longer than I thought. So if you guys wanna go back and see my previous videos, they're under Michelle Simon Kelly on um, Be In The Change or Be The Change on YouTube. So if you wanna look that up, that I would appreciate that. So I just started talking out loud about my life and what's going on. And you know, the old me, the old Michelle would tell you about how things were after I got through them and tell you how great I did or how I managed to get through my life and you know how easy that was and really what I'm doing now is showing everybody what life is like as I am going through it and it hasn't been easy and um, I've been putting myself out there I've healed a lot of things in my life so I am no longer afraid of people coming back and saying you did this or you did this or you're this or you're that I feel safe and I am not afraid of other people coming at me. I own everything about me and no one can harm or hurt me more than I have and have done to myself. So um, that is a relief and I've done a lot of work through the 12 step program. So I'm in three 12 step programs. I'm a recovering alcoholic and addict. I am a recovering adult child from a dysfunctional family, and I am a recovering food addict. So that means I'm abstinent of sugar, flour, wheat, and caffeine on top of the drugs and alcohol. I've come out of workaholism. I've recovered from codependency. And you guys, I put a lot of time and effort into my self-care. And what it looks like is it's messy, it's hard. Um, I, it physically started to come out in my body years ago. And I think what has happened is a lot of times when I couldn't listen to my heart or what was going on, it was being stored in my body. And eventually my body started to hurt so bad. I could not ignore what was going on. And I was in a car accident about three and a half years ago and um, it was permission to stop because I couldn't. I could not take myself out of my job that was physically, I was in so much pain all day with my neck and my back. I was in so much pain all the time and I didn't know what else I would do for money and I was scared and I hurt every single day and I didn't know how to get myself out of it. I couldn't say, this isn't good for me anymore. 
and I can't do this. And um, so what happened is it was done for me. This accident, it was like, because I couldn't get myself out of what wasn't good for me, it was done for me. And I truly believe that God does for us what we cannot do for ourselves. So if you're in a job or in a situation that is not good for you anymore and you can't remove yourself from it, it'll be done for you. You will get fired. They'll re replace your position. Um, something will happen, maybe an accident. I hope not. But, you know, sometimes when, when I couldn't get myself out of situations, they were done for me. And unfortunately, a lot of times I knew beforehand, but I couldn't do anything about it. Because I'm a really big people pleaser. I am not anymore, by the way. But I wanted people to like me. I wanted people to love me. I wanted to do things to help other people. I didn't want to seem like a pain or a bother or I'm too much trouble. And you guys, I was sharing with you last week about my antidepressant journey, which if you guys are on antidepressants or know anybody who takes them, I was just explaining about my, my journey. And it took me a good 10 months to get on the right one and know that it was working for me. So that was my process. And um, I started, I had my second line dance class last night, but I knew before I went that that was my last night of teaching line dancing. It is not good for my body. My heart loves it, my head loves it, and my body doesn't. And yesterday when I woke up, my knees, I have this, I get this pseudo gout in my knees and I have bursitis. So all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they just swell up and flare up on their own without any, with me doing anything out of the normal. So yesterday I woke up and my knee, I could feel it coming on. My knee was hurting, it was getting swollen. I was putting my mozzarella cheese ice pack on it taking Advil, thinking, oh my God, please don't blow up until tomorrow so I can do this class tonight because I don't want to disappoint anyone. I told everyone I was going to do this. I'm working for Sync Recovery, which is S-Y-N-C recovery.org. And um, they trusted me and they are allowing me and supporting me to teach this class. And and it's the second one, and I know my body is saying, Michelle, this is not right for you. So what I was able to do was go to the class last night and let everybody know this was my last day of teaching because this is not right for my body. And the old Michelle would have kept doing it anyway. I was going to say, oh, I'll just do it for the month. I can no longer abandon myself. And what does that mean? That means where I have to pretend like I'm fine when I'm not, or pretend like things don't bother me when they do. Um, that is abandoning myself and I can no longer do that. I have lost that ability. So I can't pretend like things are good when they're not. And is it a pain in the ass? Absolutely. Is it hard? Yes. I never wanted to be the one who rocked the boat. I wanted the boat to rock first and then I would get out. But what I was able to do is let them know that I can no longer do this and it's not good for my body. And they're like, can you get someone else to do it and, and put the words, like say the steps. And, and I was thinking that, I was thinking of every reason, like how could I still do this or how can I help or how can I do this? But the fact of the matter is the first time we ever tried to cover for our line dance instructor. One time she was having a procedure done. It took five of us in the class to try and replace her. And we weren't even good at it. Five people to be one. And then um, our instructor, this is how I got started. Our instructor had another procedure and three of us did it together. And it was hard with three people, but it was so nice that there were three of us and not just one. So I was able to do that twice with three people. And then the last time she was having something done and I taught the whole class by myself. And that was really amazing. And the girls in the class helped me because when you're up there and, and 
you have to say the steps, why you're doing the steps, and then play the music. Like, it is not easy. So um, it's really a hard job. It might look easy or feel easy on the receiving end, but it takes a lot of time and energy. And I put so much time and energy into this and getting it started and finding the church. And the church that um, I'm using is St. James United Church of Christ in Royersford. And Pastor Beth has been like an angel. And she's taken two of the classes, which was awesome. And and now I have to go tell everybody, I'm sorry, but we're not going to have the line dancing class anymore. There are other places to line dance in our area, but I'm not going to be able to do this anymore. I'm going to try and do other activities like vision boards and my, you know, I have this wonderful letting go box that I write letters in and send it to God when I'm worried about things or other people are worried about things. So I can be creative with other things, but physically my body is not meant to do physical work anymore. And I know it. And usually I'm all about, this is a sign. That's a sign. This is a sign. And yesterday I was like, this is not a sign. It was a sign. And my body speaks to me. And I already, my legs been burning for months. So I'm in the process of getting um, an injection to figure, so they can kind of diagnose with the injection and see where it's coming from, excuse me, and hopefully get fixed soon. So anyway, I, um, I physically can't do it and I can say it now and not caring what other people think of me and no one else can make me feel worse than I already do. Um, but I know without a doubt that God does not want me to harm or hurt myself for money or for any other reason. And for all the people who truly are able to love me, they don't want me to harm or hurt myself either. And the people who can't accept that about me, they're just not ready yet. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with me. It just means they're not there yet. And I'm okay with that too. So this is your sign signing off. Stay safe, stay safe, stay tuned. And I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching.